guys. Um, thought I would share with you guys some stuff that I have. Just I thought maybe you guys would like to see it. I have quite a few things, uh, vintage items that I plan on um, using, probably scanning them in and using them in collage and artwork and things like that. And I like seeing that kind of stuff and what people have. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I have several bins, well, lots, actually, lots of things that I've inherited from my dad. He collected and his mother, my grandma, collected stamps, postage stamps, and, you know, canceled stamps, um, envelopes, old envelopes, old documents, um, and even uncanceled stamps, you know. Um, so I'll just go through this bin. I haven't been in it for a while. I tried to go through and organize the stuff, but it, it got so overwhelming. There's, like, so much stuff, like two giant tubs of, like, just stamps and stamps and stamps and and postcards and things that I and I wanted to look them all up and see if any of them were valuable so I can retire but um, I just haven't found anything yet I did find a penny red though and I was excited because there, there's something there's something about a penny red there's a certain one that's pretty expensive and but it has something to do with a number there's a number on it and you have to like look at it really close anyway I'm rambling so let's get to this was the thing that I really wanted to show you. So this is an old um, Paris postcard, detachable postcards. Um, and I don't think there's a year on here. I just love these. And of course, I'm not going to tear these apart and use them. I'm going to scan these images in. And maybe at some point, um, I will offer them... I want to create an Etsy shop at some point and offer some of these scanned images for download or whatever, but, and maybe some free ones. Maybe I'll do some freebies as well. So if any of you guys are interested in something like that, you know, maybe some scanned images of some of this um, old ephemera vintage items that I have to use in your crafting and your art, just let me know and leave a comment. So here we have, um, picture of I don't know the triumphal arc in Paris isn't this so cool and so oh and then the back of these have the old lettering and all the pages are just nice and yellow and aged and unfortunately I don't see a year then each of these images are separated by a thin piece of oh um, what do you call tissue here's another picture old picture of and here's the oops here's the eiffel tower way in the background and there's a ferris wheel back there panoramic view of the eiffel tower isn't that neat guys i i wish like i said before in previous previous uh videos that I didn't have to work like go to an actual job 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 physical job for a living but just kind of go through and do this kind of stuff um here's one that is oh there's some vintage um some old vehicles oh those are horse and buggy and I'm not sure what street this is avenue of I have no idea what that says but so cool guys so cool next one it looks like there's they're all different pictures in here isn't this neat here is and i'm sorry this is i cannot pronounce any of these there's some kind of bridge there's a neat statue with a horse there hopefully you, you guys can see that and ooh, look at this look at this ferris wheel isn't that neat the great wheel le grand something loving it i cannot wait i want to scan these i just cannot wait to scan these in i always say that in every video i just can't wait to do this and can't 
Champs Elysees Avenue. I can actually say that. I think I'm saying it right. So there's some vintage vehicles. There's some horse and buggies. Is Le Grand Palace, the Great Palace. I'm trying to be careful with these so I don't rip anything. Here is L'Automobile Club. <laughs> Pretty fountain there. All of these landmarks are, but so cool. Let's go on to the next. So it looks like every one of these are a different, a different photograph. Opera House, the lobby of the Opera House. Oops. Then we have hmm, Rivoli Street, Rivoli Street. So an aerial view. There's a little teeny person right there. And here we have Gambetti's Memorial, Gambetta's Memorial. St. Lazar Station, and I'm probably chopping that pronunciation up. Here is St. Jacques Street. Not sure what that building is. Really neat. This would be a neat place to visit. And I assume that the, most of these or all of these um, landmarks are still, still there. The town hall, whoops, sorry. This is looking like the courthouse here. It doesn't really say, oh wait, here it is at the top. 1764, 1790. Pantheon, the Pantheon. Luxembourg Palace. So I wonder if this is, well, I can't imagine this is from the 1700s. I would think it would be even more brittle than this, but. Okay, come on, come apart. Here we have St. Martin's Gate. I may have to flip through these a little faster than this. Here's Place of the Bastille. We have Italian's Boulevard. These are just the neatest things. It remind me of those um, seek and find games that I, I download on my computer where you just, you find the hidden objects and they're always, most of the time, located in like old towns, you know, old famous towns. And they just look so cool like this. And here's a panorama view of, I have no idea, La Cine. And so that's it for that. That is really cool. And there's the cover, the back, the front. Um, and then what else? I, I may not go through this whole thing or we're going to be here forever. Here I've got an old cigarette box, McDonald's. And it's also got, uh, I don't know what these are called, the little stamps. I'm assuming Virginia cigarettes, filter tip. Isn't that a neat picture? And so a lot of these have addresses. Let me just kind of just skip through and I'll pick out some things. Here is a Pan American Exposition, Buffalo, New York. And what are these? May 1st to November 1901. 
I'm not sure what these are, but I'll definitely be scanning these in as well. And these actually have names written on them. Tickets for something? Alfred Roth. Bureau of Admissions and Collections. Oh, look. Non-transferable. Re-entry to grounds may be had by present presenting personal card bearing pass number. So these are passes to the Pan Am Exposition, October 3rd, is that 1901? Oh my gosh, look at these. Aren't these so neat? I, as you can tell, I haven't gone through all of these. Like I said, I have like so much stuff that, I mean, I don't have time to just sit there and go through. And if you like this sort of thing, I mean, let me know. As I go through these things, I'll just share it with you guys. Because I like seeing old stuff and what I can do with them. So definitely we'll be scanning this stuff in. I mean, I can't just destroy this stuff for sure. I'll just keep them. Because they're precious. They're precious things. Um, let's see what else. So these are that's an old card that's got address, old address on. Here are some stamps. Um, here is a I'm not really sure. What is this? A bond? No, a promissory note. Four months, so this is from 1923. Four months after nine. Oh, after date, I promise to pay to the order of, I don't know who that is, $66. So it is. It's a U.S. bond. And then someone wrote on the back, taken up August 7, 23. So I'm assuming that's 1923. Here's... um. Just an envelope from 1923, and this is from Louisville, sent from Louisville, Kentucky. We have a couple of one-stamp postage. Oh yeah, I'm scanning a lot of this stuff in. Here's some newer things, look more like 70s, 80s kind of things. So these are mail, just blank, um, prepaid postage postcards. So there's the bicentennial. Era. Let's see, Caesar Rodney, U.S. postage of nine cents. Um, I have several more, several different ones. Um, okay, so these are 1982. So all of these just blank cards. Here's one from 1978. There's John Hancock. Uh, let's see. We have that more Caesar Rodney Patriot. We have Abraham Lincoln here. We have a bunch more um, pre-stamped post postcards that are, have not been used, not canceled. So these all are one cent Thomas Jefferson stamped postcards. Here's more John Witherspoon, Nathan Hale. Um, ooh, that one's pretty. This is from 1978, the Music Hall in Cincinnati, Ohio. There's more. This one's from, let's see, this one's the Federal Courthouse in Texas. Uh, I think I'll just grab all of this stuff on the side and then maybe we'll go through this one if you would like to see them. Um, and if anybody has any idea what any of this stuff is worth, you can let me know, but, okay, I can't show you these. Well, I can, because these, these are not, this is my dad's stuff, and this is old addresses that, I mean, we don't live there anymore, obviously, so these are actually, I won't show you the address anyway, but here's, one, let's see, doesn't have a year. Here's America's Hospitals. Um, so he saved all its self-addressed envelopes. Meeting will be held at 6.30. I just love this stuff. 
Um, so here's just a bunch more. So here's Paul Revere. So there's a bunch of empty. Oh, here's another postcard. That one's pretty neat. Here's one from Kentucky. I don't know what year, but I thank you so much for remembering Bernie with the $5 check. We're so sorry to hear of your illness. We do hope you are feeling better. So you could you could create like just a storyline out of all of this stuff if you wanted to create kind of like I watched Nick the Booksmith and she's I guess she she writes as well as makes um, junk journal, not junk journals, really. They're they're not junk for sure. They're really nice journals and she usually has a theme to them and a story behind each one and it just um this would be really nice to go along with some of those things and just come up with come up with a story so this one k and b stamp company this is a reminder that you have not returned the approval sent some time ago blah blah blah, blah. here's some i don't know who that person is so this is just Oh, this is from 1961. So this is an invite. And let's see what we're looking at. Oh, we're looking at 16 and a half minutes right now. So here's some more. So a lot of the stuff's just old. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who these people are, where they came from. But this is really nice. Just notes written on the side or on the back or typed. Here's one from 1959. Adding Machine Sales Company. Here's something from New York. That one's empty or blank. Some more Adding Machine Sales. Have Knights of Columbus, Urbana, Ohio. Okay. And then these are blank. So several blank ones. Here's some more adding from the adding, adding machine sales company in Akron, Ohio. So this is... That's pretty neat. So they would just type their message on the back of these and just send it on. And this is from 1938. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I don't have my glasses on, so I don't know what it's really looking like on my screen here. Here's, I like the writing on here. I like it when they write cursive and you can see how the writing styles were back then. Here's one from 1940. Oh, school begins Monday, September 9th, 1940. You were to report to room 216 and so let's say it's from what school it does not say what school it's from. Hmm. Another postcard. Some writing on the back. Something from New York. So this is Greenfield, Ohio. Oh. For immediate shipment. So this looks like Science work. If you have not selected science workbooks for this year, please re-examine the samples of our workbooks, which you have. I like the colors of that. Here's a partial Mr. J.F. Adams City, period. <laughs> and it got sent because it's like it's canceled from 1927. How did it get to the... I, I have no idea. How did it get to where it needed to go? Dutch Theater. 1927. Sorry, I think I'm holding them to need to hold them flatter so you guys can see these. It's a reservation, so they just sent her a. Actually, this has not been canceled, so it may not even got sent. So please check. I will be there. I will not be there. Please reserve blank plates for me. Here's a postcard. That's that's really nice a one cent there's some writing can't really tell what it says fort something i want to say new york and then some writing on the back i don't know how they can tell what that says 
Here's another one, Iowa, Iowa Falls. And trying to find a year on here. Oh, here is the stamp, October. Mm, it's got the time, but it doesn't have the year unless it's this 58, but I doubt it. Have a bunch more, like another stack of of these postcards. Oh, yes, my dad did go to two stamp shows and stuff, and he he did pass in a while back in in 1995. So, um, he just liked collecting these things, and luckily for me, I ended up with them. And he would go to stamp shows and and yard sales and estate sales and auctions, and he would go and just purchase things and I have quite a few things so this whole stack was a dollar twenty so yeah it gives me some idea that I'm not gonna get rich off this stuff but very nice things for for crafting and art and journaling and here's another stack paid a buck for that 15 postcards from 1903 that seems cheap you know seems like a very low price of course I don't know when he bought these probably in I'm guessing the 80s 1980s 90s not sure um, here's some more I really like the the designs in these I'm not sure what that is I can't tell what that is there your writing on the back. I've got um, more of these, just tons of these, tons of these with lots of writing. I like that script. Look how he look at his like got his D like all swirled out. Here's those are not old, really. Here is, hmm. congratulations, your family has been selected to receive one of the following wonderful items, 500 top value stamps or electronic calculator or a goblet set, waterless cookware. What year was this? 1975. Um, not sure, and then these are just these are my dad's own postcards that he, there's another one. Huh. Well, look at that. Sale of women's shoes. Okay, so let's just where are we looking at we are looking at 23 minutes I'm gonna try here's um, an old Valentine card Valentine postcard isn't that neat and there's a two cent stamp and if I can see what the year is I can't tell from there but this the uh, postcard is embossed so you can see the embossing on the other side the person's name is Francis Valentine huh here is a pretty spot on Church Street Brampton Ontario souvenir postcard have an old Christmas card oh it's a postcard and it's embossed as well and you can kind of see the the embossing on the other side really well that's really nice and that's raised Jerusalem Old City Marketplace and trying to see a year 1957 this is what the canceled mark is here is a really pretty first day of issue what is that 
does not say what kind of bird that is. That's from, that's postmarked 1963. Columbia J, so it's a J bird. Very pretty. Here is a cute, oh, how cute. And this, these per, these are old and these people do not live there in these houses anymore. So I, I'm not too concerned about the addresses, but I suppose maybe if there's other people living, <laughs> maybe I should cover these up. Is that not cute though? This little postage stamp. Look at that little cat and dog, 13 cent stamp. This is from 1985. Reminder for, I'm guessing a... Yes, your dog's booster vaccinations are now due. How oh, cute. Here is another first day of issue postcard in 1962. That's the back. Tampico. Oh, that's pretty neat. This is from Mexico. And the stamp's upside down. It's a, it's a cow with or parts of the bull all kind of like sectioned off there. Can't tell the year. Oh, February 21st, 1970. Ooh, check this out. This is like a piece of leather. They actually mailed a piece of leather postcard. And I can't tell what that stamp is. 190 something. And isn't that cute? Drop me a line. That's just an embossed leather. And then some more postcards. Here's from Chicago. Some other kind of similar postcards. And my dogs are going crazy at my door. So that is pretty much it for that section there. And like I said, if you want to see more of these, if you're interested, I. I will be happy to share these with you um, and also let me know if you guys would be interested in any of these images when I scan them in. So please leave a comment and also if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and, and subscribe and if you like this video, share it and I will return very soon with some more of these and I've got, of course, a lot of plans for different things, different artistic things that I wish I didn't have to work for a living then I could do more videos for you guys, but I do them as I can. So I will continue posting as I can. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you again. And next time, bye-bye.